Portland. So we can go ahead and do our after takeoff checklist. Landing gear is up. And yaw dampener is on. Flaps are already up. Thrust levers into MCT. But we are in auto throttle, so. <clears throat> Ice protection not active. And we'll go ahead and turn on wing anti ice. And we'll turn on engine ice. And tail ice, D ice is on, windshield heat is on. So we'll go ahead and turn that all on for that. And flight guidance is required, ice protection, and cabin signs. After that, takeoff checklist is complete. Pressurization, you can go ahead and check that. Oxygen quantity is good. Cap pressure is pressurizing. Status is all good. We can go ahead and turn off our lights. And we'll turn off our taxi lights and our landing lights. Everything's good. We're just climbing away here. Climbing all the way up to flight level 200. And we're coming up on our flight level 200. Should start accelerating. The thing's looking good. Beautiful day out today. Accelerated into 270 knots. And we're at our altitude. If things looking good, we can go ahead and uh, turn off some ice protection. Here we can turn off engine anti-ice. Turn off tail de-ice. One thing else looks good. And we're just doing a short flight down to Portland over here in Seattle, just testing everything out, making sure everything's working. I did get whenever I was uh, taking off, get from Sim. As we start our turn out here to Emerald.
go ahead and go to direct two and we'll go to flight plan and we'll go to buzz wall and direct two activate that and we'll go ahead and start up turning out here to buzz wall guys would mind go ahead and hit that subscribe button the like button and the notification bell uh, make sure that you guys are getting all the content and letting you know when we go live we appreciate it helps support the channel my name is plain sight we are flying uh, today just uh, shooting a little video quick video down here to portland oregon so Buzzwall and um, get set up here for our arrival into Portland area. It's just a short flight again. And so let's just see what we got going on here. Buzzwell and Helens, we need to be at Crater at 10,000, which is good. It's got all that set up. And let's check the winds and what's going on with the weather there. And we are above. We are above uh, standard, so we'll go ahead and switch to standard. Our barrow. And let's see what we got. So winds are one zero zero. It's like uh, runway. 10 left would be the best, so that's what we'll take. 12 knots. Timoner is 3006. Big old mountain out there. Sucker is huge, isn't it? So, uh, looks like we'll be uh, using runway 10 left approach and see what we got for that ILS. And we'll go ahead and get that all programmed up here. Program approach. Be the ILS 10 left. And we will do Buxom. And let's do Buxom. Load. Alright, we know that it's not approved for GPS guidance. Blah, blah, blah. We'll get the localizer frequency and all that stuff. So, get all that done here in just a little bit. Get all that set up and Buxom we need to be in. Let's go ahead and get the plate pulled up. And localizer and all that stuff will get all set set up in nav one here in just a little bit. Nav one is set for one more one point three, which is good. We got that. That's the localizer identifier, ILS frequency um, that we'll be using. Approach course is going to be one hundred three. Touchdown elevation is going to be thirty. Airport elevation is thirty one. We've got eight thousand five hundred thirty five feet of runway, which is good. And missed approach, we're going to be climbed to eight eight hundred, then climbing left turn to forty two hundred. Frequencies are all good. And we can go ahead and set up for our minimums. Minimums are going to be 293. Parametric, that is. It'll put us uh, 200, 263 feet above the ground. Good, 
filled with all of that. And we are direct buzz. At about seven and a half miles till we get to Buwaz. Buzo. Bozo. We'll call it Bozo. B W or B U W Z O. Yeah, whatever that is. Telling me to get the ATIS, and we're turning at Buazu. big mountain over there. We're going to fly in the E2 Honda jet today. I didn't realize that we didn't have all the uh, information put up at the top, so. But we gotta put up a now. Now we're rocking and rolling. Man, every time I get in this simulator, still, it's just crazy to me how good this simulator looks. I mean, they did a fantastic job. There's a lot of other areas that need some help, but they did do a fantastic job. Uh, but what do you guys think of these panels that we made? this man it's, it's so fun to fly an airplane that you don't even ever have to use the mouse for just makes it so much nicer so much nicer let's go ahead and zoom out on our map a little bit so our top of descent will be coming up here shortly Altitude in. Well, we'll wait till we get a little closer to it. Should be picking up in VNAV. So, yeah, it's just one beautiful simulator, that's for sure. Visuals are just pretty breathtaking sometimes. Do plan to take this uh, on a jet. We're gonna try and do more of a, a worldwide tour. Maybe going up to Alaska, do some Alaska flying with it. Be kind of fun to go up there and check out some of those smaller airports. But once we learn a little bit more about this this jet here, still uh, learning. Did uh, give me whenever I did the, the roll again. It did give me the takeoff data not confirmed, but I did confirm all that stuff inside the FMC. So I'll have to do some research and some figuring on why why that's the issue there. So, um, but we did get uh, we got everybody loaded. It's uh, me and the co-pilot. Got James over here, and we got a couple buddies back there. We're gonna go Portland to maybe play some golf doing a little fun trip getting out just trying to fly the jet as much as possible so hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys would make sure that you guys go on over hit that subscribe button that really helps the channel out I am with Simstromation 
Uh, we are the ones that built all these Honda jet panels uh, to make it a mouse-free cockpit. That's what we strive to do. We are just a couple of buddies that have a passion for aviation. I uh, am actually working on getting my commercial as we speak and hopefully get my commercial and my CFI done in the next hopefully month and a half is my goal. So then I'll be a flight instructor um, either full time or on the side uh, to build the time to hopefully get a corporate job flying something like this or flying a CJ, uh, flying a, some kind of jet, something like that. So that's the plan. We'll see how everything pans out, but we're just uh, some stimation, just me and three other guys that enjoy flying airplanes without having to use a mouse. So we build all these cockpits, these instruments. Um, the nice thing is, is that you don't have to lay them out this way because everybody has different size cockpits with different size touch screens. Um, and so they're all individual instruments uh, that you can place however you want, wherever you want. Um, a lot of us have different ones that we set up. Uh, some of, most of us have the same, but a lot of us have different size screens, different stuff. So I've got two 22 inch panels here um, to make it, you know, basically these are real life size uh, instruments that are in front of us. Um, I got two 22 inch and two 15.6 inches for my panel down here for the usually the either the FM, FMC from flying airliners. Uh, and then I also have an overhead panel, but uh, we're not using that right now, so we don't have that up on the screen. We do like to fly the Phoenix. We have some instruments for that. That was courtesy of Delta Charlie, was not with us, but uh, he made a pretty pretty awesome cockpit. So let's go back and check our checklist out. Climb, we've already threw that. Altimeters were good. Cruise altimeters are set. Systems are monitored. We've got good pressurization. We've got plenty of fuel. Engine instruments are all good. The green uh, flaps are up and trims are set. So we're good for that. Uh, descent. Field elevation set 79 feet. That's good. Uh, engine anti ice as required. Um, we'll go ahead and probably flip that on once we start our descent, uh, which will be here in just a minute. So we'll go ahead and, actually speaking of descent, we'll go ahead and start uh, putting down and into here. We can go all the way down to um, Buxom at, what oh, is Buck? 3500. So there's our top of descent. As we start going down, we're going to go ahead and flip on the engine anti-ice. And we'll go ahead and turn on our tail de-ice. And we'll turn on our wing anti-ice. Just to be on the safe side, we do have some clouds. And it is negative 35 degrees Celsius, which is well below zero. So I believe... Um, if I remember right, if it gets so cold, I don't know what the temperature is, but if it gets so cold, you don't have to worry about icing because it won't even stick because it's so frozen. So uh, I don't know what that temperature is, but we're just going to play on the safe side. Uh, we got passengers on board, don't want to take any chances. So um, altimeter, uh, we can go ahead and set that as we descend. It's 3006 because we're going to continue on down to 3000 feet. So 3006. We'll get standby set up through 006. There we go. So that's good. Engine anti is good. Altimeters are all set. In approach, seat signs and adjusted. Everybody got their seatbelts on? Alright, that's what we like to hear. And passenger briefing, we're going to be landing today, 10 left. And we'll be flying the ILS approach. Cabin signs are required. And since we're getting ready to go below 10,000 feet, we'll go ahead and turn on our all of our lights, exterior lights, and we'll go landing lights on, precogs are all on, all that's good, so landing lights are good, so we're good there, and cabin signs are good, avionics are all set up, we've got everything set up for the approach, uh, Buxom is going to be our final approach fix, we already got the missed approach, we're going to be climbing to 800, then climbing left turn. Uh, to 4,000 and something, we'll get that on the on the mist when we start that. So, landing data set. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to that, and let's get our systems. And nope, not systems. We want to go back to um, aircraft systems, system controls. Nope, not system controls. Uh, we want to go back 
go to sim options. Oh, that's manuals. Uh, utilities. Oh no, VNAV. Go to VNAV and our descent. Got all that cruise set all that's all set up. Um, we want to get our speed bug, that's where we're wanting to go. Landing, get from sim, and we'll turn all those on. So we've got all that stuff. Landing data is set. And cast messages checked. We don't have any cast messages. ECS temperature control says it's on manual. Um, we can go into aircraft and we can go ahead to system config, thermostat, and that's on auto, and that's on auto as well. So everything's good. Comes to that. So we're all good there. And approach briefing complete. We've already done that. And then flaps will get that set here just a little bit. So got our landing lights are all on, beacons on, navs on, strobes are all on. We've got plenty of oxygen. And hydraulics are good. Parking brake is set to off. And fire bottles are normal. So as we start our descent on into Portland here. Kind of coming up and following this river here. Switch that to switch that to manual. And we'll start slowing down to about two hundred and ten knots. And we just got down below 250 below 10,000 for our speed limit restriction. Can't quite see the airport over there. But it looks like we'll be kind of following, going out here towards this river here, making a left turn to intercept our final approach fix. So speeds, we've got uh, approach is going to be 122 and uh, 117 for VREF, will be our approach speed. Here are them engines kicking back in. Such a beautiful simulator. Yeah, we're about to come up on the battleground BOR. Approach course is going to be 103, so it will be pretty much a direct headwind into, the, into our face, so that's what we like. There's 
zooming in a little bit here. This is our hull point, this battleground VOR, so we do need to go miss. We'll climb to straight up to 800. Then after we get past 800, we'll do a climbing left turn up to 4,000. I believe it's 4,200 feet. Um, yeah, so climbing... 800 and then climbing to 4,200 feet, yeah. And then we'll come to battleground and hold if we have to go miss, which doesn't look like it. Looks like everything's pretty pretty nice outside, so. Well, the cloud deck, so now we'll go ahead and turn off our our normal, our ice protection here. Go ahead and turn all that stuff off. Don't think we're going to need that. That was just a precautionary. A little low of this. Low, below this cloud deck here. As we come down through 6,500 at 210 knots, and we'll go ahead and start slowing down to 200 knots. As we're coming up on at about nine miles till we get to Buxton, which is going to be our final approach fix. So let's go ahead and start slowing down to about 120 or 125 is what we'll set the bug. Got that bugged, we'll go ahead and go. First notch of flaps. First notch of flaps is indicating. I don't think we can quite see the wings. Can't quite see the flaps on that, so they look like they're down. Headlamp light on. Coming up on our altitude here, four thousand eight hundred. Throttles are doing a pretty good job holding that speed for us. Well, there's our airport in sight. Right back over here. Let's see our runway. We get lined up with our approach course. We'll switch over to green needles. And now we'll start our left turn to 104. to go into the setting and turn this headlamp thing off. And we've got the airport in sight. And localizer. our localizer and we can go ahead and hit approach phase we 
lined up. We'll go gear down. And Blazer is going to be our final approach fix. Thing seems to be good right now. Staying on V path. Localizer has been captured. And we're just waiting on our glide slip to come on in. Set up 4200 in our missed approach. See out there, we've got two green or two white, two red. Everything's good. I do have traffic turned off for now since we were just flying around, just messing around with the zoom. See what happens. So. Blazer got point three and glide slope is alive. Slip down here, we can see, and it should be captured as soon as we get there. Altitude. Holding glide slope has been captured. And now we can follow that on down. There we go. And as we start down, we'll go ahead and go flaps full. into Portland everybody and Atlantic Aviation will be just down here to the right so heading lights are on we've got three green indicating here and landing lights are on seat belts are on and fuel, we've got plenty of fuel to land. We are good to go. And our minimums are going to be 293 feet. Still technically be into the clouds. Portland. Everything's looking good. Staying on glide path, staying on localizer. Got the runway out in front of us. Coming through 700 feet, 293 feet. Everything's looking just fine. And 400, 100 to go. And there is our minimums. Minimum Autopilot auto off, y'all damper off. Auto throttles off. Back to idle. 
You can hold the nose up just a little bit. Yeah. There we are. Welcome to Welcome to Portland. Exterior lights, we can go ahead and turn off our landing lights. Landing lights are off, taxi lights are on. And we'll take Alpha 3 here. Parking will be straight out in front of us at Atlantic Aviation. I think this is just a standard airport that uh, Sobo's made, so go ahead and get everything cleaned up. Get over here across the. Run to the hold short lines. And there we go. Flaps are up, landing lights are all off. And we can go ahead and turn off our strobes. Oops. And yeah, navigation, all that can stay on. So, all right, we'll just taxi straight ahead to the ramp. Clear left. Clear right. Park right over here, off to the side, out of everybody's way. All right, parking brake is set, and we can go ahead and shut down engine number one. Shutting down, spooling down. Turn off of all of our gas messages. And everything's good, so. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Portland, Oregon. Appreciate you guys joining around, joining us. And uh, hopefully, next time we will see you guys on the other side. But have a good night.